Matatag Grade 1, Quarter 2, Week 6, Day 1, Mathematics. Add two digit and two digit numbers which sums up to 100 in horizontal form without a grouping. Add the following. Today, we are going to learn how to add two digit and two digit numbers which sums up to 100 in horizontal form without regrouping. Unlocking of difficulties. Think of ways to find the sum. 40 plus 25 Note, you may use counters, place value, or any material available to find the answer. How do you find the answer to the equation 40 plus 25? Here are the possible solutions to find the answer. 1. Using counters 2. Using the place value chart and counters. 3. Applying place value. 4. Applying composing and decomposing of numbers using expanded form. 5. The possible solutions enumerated above are the applications of what had been taught in the previous lessons. The steps below may be of help in consolidating the different solutions. First, using counters. Second, using the place value chart and the counters. Is the counters in the chart represent 40 and 25? How many number of tens and the number of ones in each column? There are 6 tens or 60 and 5 ones which is equal to 65. Three, applying the place value. Is the numbers 40 and 25 are represented in the chart? Yes, the 4 tens and 0 ones is equal to 40, and 2 tens and 5 ones is equal to 20, and 5 or 25. There are 4 and 2 in the tens column, that is 40 and 20 which is equal to 60. Adding the 5 ones to it, 60 plus 5 is equal to 65. 4. Applying composing and decomposing of numbers using expanded form. This means that we can obtain answers from the different solutions. Let's try this. Use the composing and decomposing numbers or the expanded form in answering the items.
Remember how to get the sum of 63 plus 20. The number 63 can be decomposed or split into 60 and 3. 60 and 20 can be added to give 80. Then, 80 and 3 are added to give 83. So, 63 plus 20 is equal to 83. Draw a line to connect to its sum. Find the sum. Week 6, Day 2 Add the following Find the sum of using composing and decomposing or the expanded form Today we are going to learn how to add two digit and two digit numbers with sums up to 100 in horizontal form without regrouping. Unlocking of difficulties. Solve the problem. There are two x trees. Tray A has 23 eggs. Tray B has 15 eggs. How many eggs are there all together? How many eggs are there in tray A? How many eggs are there in tray B? What do we want to find out? Read the problem. There are two trays of eggs. Tray A has 23 eggs. Tray B has 15 eggs. How many eggs are there all together? You can get the answer by adding 23 and 15. Or... 23 plus 15 is equal to 23 the numbers were decomposed or split into tens and ones. The tens were added together, and the ones were also added together before the final sum was obtained. Tell how many there are in all. Choose the correct balloon for each sum. Draw a line. Perform the indicated operation.
Week 6, Day 3 Add the following Let's try this. Use the composing and decomposing numbers or the expanded form in answering the items. Today, we are going to write addends in vertical forms and add two digit and two digit numbers with sums up to 100 without regrouping. Unlocking of difficulties. Direction, write the sum on the space provided. Fill in each rectangle with the correct digit. Observe how the numbers are written. This is another way of writing addition sentence. This way of writing is in vertical form. When the numbers to be added are written in vertical form, the digits with the same place value are aligned. Now, I will show you how to answer the equation focusing on the placement of each digit in the rectangles and decomposing numbers or the expanded form. Remember how the numbers to be added are written in vertical form. The digits with the same place value should be aligned before addition is done. The ones digits are added together, and the tens digits are added together. The digits of the sum should also be aligned appropriately. Direction, write the following in vertical form, then add. Week 6, Day 4 Add the following Today, we are going to solve problems involving addition with sums up to 100 without regrouping Unlocking of difficulties Let's try this Direction Fill the rectangles with the correct digits
here are some possible answers. What are the observation about the missing digits? The missing digits in the ones place of the addend and the sum are the same. This is because the digit in the addend is added to zero. The missing digit in the tens place is two. Direction, answer the following by drawing or writing a number sentence. Write your answer in the space provided. The learners in the class are 24 girls and 23 boys. How many learners are there in all? What digit should be in each rectangle to get a sum of 53? Mathematics, week 6, day 5. Third summative test.